All right, so this is the recording for parts um, nine, what are we up to? 13, 14, 15, and 16. 13 and 14 are a lot like the last ones from, uh, I don't know, 11 and 12, and then 15 or 16, and 15 and 16 are different, but they are similar to each other. Okay, so let's just jump right in in green sheet numbers. Let's do new document. This one is called part 13. And that's F11 full screen. Okay, so let's look at what we've got. Very similar to the last time where we can do this in two major steps. Um, being the sort of base, which is this shape at a height of two and a couple of circles in there. Shoot, uh, so what I meant to do, uh, let's undo, let's just clear everything, go back to this. Everything's going slow. All right, and then the uh, tall part be another one. Important to notice the the shape of these curves before and almost all of them we've had the curve be share the same center point so the sort of radius of two this does not share the same center point as this it's just a one inch radius but we'll get to that in a second okay so the first part let's do a rectangle that is this length two three, four, five, six, seven. So make a rectangle at seven by four, and then a circle that snaps perfectly to the edge. They share the center mark there, so that's easy. And so let's start a sketch. And since that is sort of the footprint, we'll sketch on the top face. And we can get rid of these origin planes. Look at it down from the top. Let's get a rectangle from the center. And we said it was seven this way and four this way. And circle snaps to the center here and snaps to the corner. And we don't need to dimension it because it's already dimensioned. And we'll look at it. We'll finish the sketch, to extrude, choose everything and extrude it to. Okay, and then there are two circles or two holes that are circular. Um, one of them is, come on, Penn, where are you? Are you kidding me? All right, so one of them shares this center mark. So we can do the use tool and have, which one's the use tool? I'm blind. Um, it's probably back here. Um, Weird. Oh, it's probably in sketch mode. That's why it's not there. Um, use the use tool to project this and we'll get that center mark and we'll make a two inch diameter circle. And then we can make another circle that is from the center mark one, two, three away. And we can actually just use a line to make sure it's the right direction. And then from that end point, do another two inch circle and cut extrude both the circles. So let's start a sketch on this top surface. Turn off the visibility of the origin point there. And let's look at it. That's what I want. Let's look at it from the top. And we're going to use the use tool and click on this edge right there. And we'll get that projected point. Good. And circle from there. Let's dimension that to two, diameter of two. And we want another circle right here. So let's just get a line, just sort of a construction line more or less, and dimension that this isn't actually gonna be part of the feature, but we know that we, we need another center point that's three away from what we have, the distance from center mark, from this center mark, come on then, to this center mark is three and that's what we want. So we'll go here and do 
another circle that's three inches away and we'll dimension that to two and we can finish the sketch look at it from a corner extrude choose both of the circles and just the circles switch it to remove and through all okay and then the other portion we can just draw its footprint which is two this way and the full depth that way so we don't even need to dimension that four we just need a two and we can extrude it the total height which is one two three to that center mark and two more so it's five tall let's just go ahead and do that sketch on top and get a rectangle snap to the corner snap somewhere on the back edge okay and this line that's blue is blue because it's not dimensioned so we need to make sure that it's two away from the left side we'll get the dimension tool click on the left side click on the blue line click in between set it to two finish the sketch look at it from a corner and extrude it and we can extrude it it's the height the total height is five and now we can cut away what we don't want okay first thing we don't want let's go ahead and cut away sort of this um trench column gutter type of thing and we can see that if we're looking at it from this face it's actually two shapes it's like a rectangle and an arc which we can just do a circle so we need a rectangle that's too tall and too wide and one from the side and then once we have that we can just do our circle there and cut extrude everything so let's go here we'll put a sketch here and we'll look at it from that face need a rectangle that snaps to the top edge make sure it doesn't snap to a center mark because you won't be able to move it just somewhere on the edge like that too wide and too tall and the lines are still blue and that's because it we need to dimension where it's supposed to be and the distance from here to the side is one okay and then we just need sort of that arc but the easiest way to do the arc is just a full circle that snaps to the center goes to the edge we can now finish the sketch and extrude everything we just drew switch it to remove and through all there we go and the last part feature are these two rounded over top corners or top edges so we're going to use the fillet tool fillet not fillet and choose this edge and this edge to round it over and the dimension we need is the radius which is one which you can count in from the side or from the top and that's how you know it's one so we'll use the fillet tool we'll choose this edge this edge and we want the dimension to be one there you go part 13. uh 14 similar except the base is rounded on both sides and we'll do the first two inches off the ground and draw the footprint first and then cut away this sort of pill shape which is very similar to the other one except it's how far away is the center marks uh one two three four so they're four away so we'll do the same basic thing as before and um circles on either end cut extrude that and then on the other side we'll be able to do a circle that extrudes four more and a two inch hole in the middle let's create a document part 14 and let's do a sketch on the face that faces up and turn off that look at it straight on and no nope, that's not what i want let's not do that let's go back and edit this there we go so we need a rectangle and i forgot to check 
the dimensions, the distance, the size of our rectangle, which is what would be this, except at this height of two, all the way across to this. So it's two to there, three, four, total of eight. And you kind of have to follow your way around to figure it out. Let's dimension this to eight by four, zoom out, circles that snap to here, to here, here, to here. Uh, finish the sketch and snap to the bottom at the end. No. No, apparently not. Uh, what about over here? There we go. And let's extrude, choose everything, and extrude it a distance of two. Okay, then the pill shape hole over here, tablet or whatever, oval. Let's do, we know we want circles on either end and we need a snap to the snap to. So let's go ahead and do a circle here. That's two. Dimension that to two. And really don't like how many dimensions I needed before. What are our different options for rectangle? Center point, aligned. Can we get an aligned? No, it doesn't give us a snap directly of above. Um, so let's just do, let's get another construction line or use a regular line as our construction line. So we need this to be four. We need another circle on the other end, a diameter of two. And just working our way around, the easiest way or the most, I shouldn't say the easiest way, definitely not the easiest way. The most guaranteed way to do this correctly is just another regular corner rectangle, which is the default from here to here. But I wanna make sure it dimensions correctly. So I'm gonna kind of put it out of the way. This needs to be four and this needs to be two, or excuse me, one. And then we'll do the same thing the other way. Let me get these dimensions so they're actually visible. We need another rectangle this way that is also uh, another rectangle this way. What is going on? Rectangle. And this also needs to be four by two, excuse me, four by one. And um, let's finish the sketch, look at it from a corner, extrude it, choose everything we drew. Which is actually like five or six clicks, remove, do through all and hit okay. And let's do a sketch on top for that other one. Let's get a circle, but we need that center point to snap to. So we'll use the use tool and click on the edge there. That'll give us that center point. And now that we have that, we get a regular circle, click on the center point and click anywhere on, well, I guess to this corner, this point here. Finish the sketch, look at it from a corner. Extrude, choose this, and it was a height of four. And then we can just put another sketch on top. And we need use again. Center mark circle. That's a diameter of two. And finish the sketch and extrude. Choose that, switch it to remove through all, and there you go. All right, so let's go ahead and cut this one off there and we'll do 15 and 16 together in a separate one. So this one will be 13 and 14. And uh, yeah, that's it, good luck.